So, I, there's this thing that happened a lot when I was a kid. Because I, cause I, I was raised Christian, I was raised to believe that I was going to be persecuted all the time, and there was no way around it. And if I was, in fact, uh, not being persecuted, then I wasn't being a true Christian. There is a TikTok <laughs> that I need to take a look at. So, this one is from Lily.Aaron. Uh, they said they've been doing some icons recently and figured they might do one here. This actually does look like an icon that I could use for Discord or something, um, even though it is in uh, it is in penciled form. Uh, despite the fact that one of these words... One of these words I'm not going to fucking say. You weird, war-crazed people. <laughs> but... Thank you very much for that artwork. And the next one we have is Growlithe. It is a it is a Georgian Growlithe from Jack and Quill because, of course, we do have the Growlithe emote over on Twitch uh, that is only somewhat usable in, in hindsight. But the design of that, I guess, is the Georgian Growlithe since in the new Pokemon game we are getting the Cream Puff Growlithe. So... With all that said, thank you all for your fan art submissions. If you want to see your fan art shown on the channel, the best way to do so is dropping it into the fan art section of the Discord. And as always, everyone, let's go ahead and get into the actual video at hand here. This is a TikTok from Nicola Drian. It's very short, but. There's a lot said in here, and I've, I've got a lot to talk about, it, so let's go. So, for those who are audio-only listeners, uh, caption, the shooter comes in. Who here is Christian? Consuming all the air inside my lungs, ripping all the skin from off my bones. So, you stand up, somebody says, who here is Christian, and then you stand up. Now, the idea is that you're, like, one of the only students who stands up here. Uh, so that's already not really representative of how influential Christianity is in the States. But, yeah, no, you go ahead and stand up and all the students tell you to not do this. And then... I'm prepared to sacrifice my life. I'm glad it do its way. So, okay. I want to ask you if you're a parent right now. J right now. Would you want your child, when presented with this, with the options to lie and say they are not a Christian for the purposes of their continued survival, or tell the truth and say they are a Christian, which will inevitably lead to their death? If you are a parent, and these are the options your child has, which would you prefer? If your answer is... I would prefer them to not deny the truth of Christ, then kindly contact CPS because you are an unfit parent. I, I, this isn't even a speculation on my part. If your position is that you would rather them maintain some sense of moral purity, but you would prefer them die, be sacrificed on a pyre for what you personally believe in, and you likely instilled into them, then you do not deserve to be a parent at that point. Kindly do me a favor, call the local authorities, let them know that you probably should not maintain having children. Now, alternatively, you could accept that sometimes there are virtuous lies. <laughs> sometimes there are lies that you can say that are for the sake of preserving yourself or preserving others, and those are not bad lies to say. Untruths are not the worst thing in the world if they are being utilized for the sake of saving human life. If you had an option in Nazi Germany between saying, yes, in fact, I do have Jewish heritage, or no, I do not have Jewish heritage, there is nothing good about being truthful in that situation. All you do is make yourself vulnerable and hurt yourself in that situation. That's all you do. And let's think about this as well 
from just a pragmatic perspective. Outside of the idea that you as an individual should probably not be sacrificing your life merely for an ideology, let's think about this pragmatically in terms of what you're supposed to do as a Christian. You're supposed to engage in some level of soul winning. And if that is the case, then you can't win any souls to Christ when and if you're dead. Just as a matter of pure pragmatism, you cannot evangelize while dead. And if you say, oh, well, their story of martyrdom will spread far and wide. No, no, people are just going to feel sad. That's all that's going to happen. They're just going to feel sad that you needlessly sacrificed your life. And there was no point. Do not sacrifice your life for the sake of an ideology. Do not, as this person is doing in the video, fetishize sacrificing your life in the name of an ideology. Continue. I'm prepared to sacrifice my life. Now, this is the part where it gets a little worse. Uh, what if I do it not for the sake of an ideology? Well, Red On VA, uh, Red Oni VA, I cannot tell you what to do with your life, and I cannot tell you uh, not to get yourself in a terribly bad situation. I would prefer you not die. That's what I would say. And I think anybody that would suggest that you should do the thing that gets you killed does not have your best interest in heart. But here's where it gets a little worse. The idea that God will now reward you. You were his faithful servant because you essentially committed suicide. That's that's what happened here. Let's be honest. You had the option to survive. You chose not to. Now, yes, the person who is ultimately responsible for your death was the shooter. They had every ability not to kill you. But you still stood up and said, shoot me. That is functionally what you did. Because you knew what was going to happen, and you even did the whole LARPing, I will gladly do it twice thing. Okay? The idea that a god would take this behavior, and instead of going, why would you sacrifice the gift that I gave you? I gave you life, and you threw it away. What was the point of that? Instead, no, I will reward you because you did this behavior in my name. I want you to hold on to that nugget for a second, because this goes beyond your child potentially getting themselves killed because of something that is not demonstrable and something that largely, pragmatically speaking, like I said before, they can do more good for the Christian faith while alive than while they're dead. Functionally, most importantly, more than anything, I want you to consider how many inexcusable actions can be potentially considered excusable when done for the purpose of being a good and faithful servant. Apparently my stream broke at that second and uh, my video card decided to kill itself and now here I am moments later uh, hoping that everything is fixed. That was weird. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Anywho, as I was trying to say before everything decided to up and implode, Think of the atrocities. Think of any number of things that could be done and excused if, and this is big if, if the idea is that your God will reward you in the end. Not only can this lead to several self-destructive scenarios, but this also can be utilized. This version of Christianity, this is not all versions of Christianity. There are plenty of versions that are going to favor self-preservation because getting yourself killed is not a smart thing to do. But this particular variant, this fetishization here, it's not just dangerous to the individuals who can get themselves harmed, but it's dangerous because it can be used to excuse any number of actions against others if they are done in the name of the deity. So, I guess I'm just going to end on this for this particular segment. Don't, please don't sell your kids an ideology that promotes them gladly offering themselves up for purpose of suicide. Please. 
I, I, I would highly recommend, I, I would request that you as a parent not offer your kids up onto the funeral pyre like that. Please don't. Anyway, as always, everyone, if you want to support my channel and what I do, there are ways to do so below. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, follow over on Twitch if you have not done so. And feel free to converse about this particular topic in the comment section. I'm not necessarily throwing it back to you these, these times. I'm not concerned with the conversation here. I, I think that advocating for pro-suicide positions is just bad. Don't do it. As always, everyone, it's been video tag.